We are wrapping up a full week at our favorite resort here at Valentin Imperial Riviera Maya. We're out walking this morning and I thought we'd show you guys around a little bit. still say after five visits over 10 years it's still my favorite yeah I think it is our favorite this is an adults only all-inclusive resort in Riviera Maya our fifth time here we're actually here celebrating our 10th anniversary so we are excited that we were able to get away and do this trip we normally do this trip with a group and we couldn't all get together this year so it's just me and old schmoopy bear here <laughs> it's been a really good time as always we've met awesome people and got to know people over the week um, it's a great resort for whatever you want it to be so you can be like completely secluded in your room and have like quiet beach time or you can go to the crazy foam party at the pool and <laughs> just have a blast. Come on in. Welcome to our little home away from home here. I think this is their first time that we've got this particular room on the second floor. So we have a little patio, but I'll show you that here in a minute. So this is the entrance. You got a closet here. You got your robes and your slippers and some hangers and stuff to hang your clothes up on. And then on this side, you've got ironing board and iron a safe and you can program the safe and it does have a hair dryer so the mini fridge has some different drinks some beers and some waters coke and some juices you got a little counter here that has your coffee maker and we are celebrating our anniversary so they brought us a bottle of wine honestly or a bottle of champagne I honestly don't know if they normally bring that to people when they check in. I'm not really sure. You got your counter. It's got all your essentials here. Back here you have a really nice jacuzzi. And I actually, I like that the jacuzzi is separate from the bedroom. Um, some of the other rooms have the jacuzzi in the middle of the room. And I don't know that I really particularly have a preference between the two. Your toilet's in here. And when Steph and I build a house someday, I would love a shower like this. You do have like a small dining table back behind Steph here. You have a desk area where you can work, TV, entertainment center, and there are more drawers here. And we have mentioned before in previous videos, one of our favorite things to do when we're traveling and we're staying at a place like a hotel for an extended period of time, we unpack all of our stuff and we store it away and the drawers and we hang up our clothes if we have hanging clothes which we're in the camper now so we don't hang any of our clothes anymore other than our jackets sometimes on vacation we will hang my dress shirts and stuff and some of Steph's dresses just a small little living area here with the coffee table they've got us all set up here for our 10 year anniversary. So they've got us a little display here with roses. Over here to the right, because we are on the second floor, we have our own balcony and there's actually a, like a mini balcony right next to the bed. And then right here, you have a nice little walkout sitting area, which I thought was super nice. I will say that like, a lot of the all-inclusives we've been to, if you have any of the windows or the doors open, the AC will turn off automatically. Same thing here at Valentin, the AC will turn off as soon as you open up any of the doors. So I've seen some people that complain about their rooms maybe not being at a good temperature and I don't know for sure, but I wonder if people don't leave their windows or doors open not realizing. So just a little tip there. 
So we're gonna be exploring the resort over the next couple days. I thought I'd give you guys a quick room tour before Steph and I just make ourselves really at home here. So we're really excited to re-explore this place and uh, check out some of the new stuff that wasn't here the last time we were here. Okay, so now that we have some breakfast and, and some coffee, <laughs> let's talk about Steph's favorite part about this resort. The, the food. food. <laughs> there is no shortage of food here. This year, the biggest like improvement or addition for us has been the coffee shop. Yeah, they just added the cafe the Cecil, and uh, it's great. It opens, I think, from 7 to 1 a.m. So some from 7 a.m. to 1 a.m. It's open. Coffee, pastries, sandwiches. It has been a huge addition for this resort. Yeah. So there's a couple places you can go get breakfast, and we'll talk about that in a minute. But if you don't want to sit down and you just want like a grab and go, they have breakfast sandwiches that are pretty good. Room service is included in your stay, and room service is 24 7, which is really nice. So you always have an option for a late night snack or anything you want. Maybe if you don't want to leave your room in the morning for breakfast, you can order room service all day. One of the mornings here we did the bike tour, which we'll get to in a minute, but we wanted to schedule breakfast ahead of time. So the day before we just called and said, hey, we're going to put in our order for 8 a.m. tomorrow. 8 a.m., like 5 till they were here delivering it. So you can also schedule ahead if you know you're an early riser and you want coffee or food first thing in the morning, you can always order ahead with room service. Okay, so breakfast options are a la carte or a buffet that we went to this morning. Mm -hmm. The buffet, I will say, also has an omelet station. You can have fresh made omelets right on the counter. Yes, and they're fairly good. Now for lunch, both of those same restaurants are open. So uh, Le Marche is again buffet for lunch or Mar and Tiara is a la carte for lunch. Now say you're hanging out in the pool, you're having a great time, you're like, oh, I don't want to get out and go sit down in a restaurant. They now have food trucks, uh, beach bum, or pool bum food trucks at the main pool. So the food truck, I kind of expect it to be like pizza and fries because a lot of other resorts we've been to are like that, but no, there were burritos and nachos and tacos and tostadas, like it's good stuff. One more option for lunch is at the Lazy River pool, so the swim up pool. There is a snack shack there too, and again, it's good food. And that one is really nice too because the drink service that comes around, the waiters that come around to take your orders for drinks, they'll take your order for food and bring it right to you at your Palapa while you're hanging out in the sun. Now let's talk about dinner options. All the restaurants are really good. I think our favorite this week was probably the French restaurant because it's oh. always so good. Oh, I was gonna say a different one. What were you Go gonna ahead, say? French, what's your favorite thing at the French restaurant? The French onion soup at the French restaurant is amazing. I do love the French restaurant. French onion soup is amazing. But Ginger, the Japanese restaurant, would be my favorite. Oh. We went there three times this week. I we assume that's what he would say or where he would say. And we got sushi there. We got all kinds of different stuff throughout that are three times there. Yeah. Um, I think we also really enjoyed the Mexican restaurant. Um, we got a lot of food there. <laughs> too much. Food. Unintentionally. Really good margaritas, too. We also went to the Indonesian restaurant, which was good. We didn't make it to Mar and Tiara for dinner this week. That is the Surf and Turf. Um, and honestly, I think it was because it was so warm and that is strictly outside building. And we just did not want to sit outside for dinner. Yeah. So. The Italian restaurant is under construction right now, and they're supposed to finish that about halfway through October, um, and then start on the French restaurant. I think is next. So, if you guys are booking sometime around the release of this video, you might just note that there is construction going on, and there might be a restaurant closed. So, all the restaurants are included minus the pay for a restaurant and all the food except for lobster is included. So if you're worried about going to one of these restaurants and then trying to charge you for anything outside of lobster and if you order any wine off of the wine list, all the food is included.
Okay, so we didn't talk about entertainment yet. So there is always something going on. A lot of the entertainment stuff is towards the front of the resort, but there is a nightlife. I think there's a DJ normally that goes until like one o'clock in the morning. Don't act like you don't know. We may have got silly one night this week and did some dancing. <laughs> so if you're worried about there not being a nightlife, a lot, of, a lot of these more relaxing resorts don't have as much. This one really has a lot to do after dark. Yeah, so when we first came in 13 and the, up, the, up until this year, there used to be a printed journal, which was just like a pamphlet of paper slid under your door every day. And it had, you know, congratulations for your anniversary, honeymoon, and then the schedule of activities at the pool and the schedule for the nightlife, the restaurant schedules, all that stuff. They still have it, but it is digital. So you get on their website and then every morning it's updated all the day's activities, all the evening's activities, and information about restaurants and all the goings on at the resort. So if you hear a tractor in the back, it's because they're working the beach this morning, trying to get some of the sargasm cleaned up, some of the seaweed. Uh, and speaking of the beach, the beach, this is the best that I've ever seen it, I think. Yeah, yeah. The beach has been great, I mean, I, I really do think that this is the best that I've ever seen it. We usually come again about a month later and I think that the sargasm, the seaweed is a lot worse then because the water tends to look a little more brown and this is what I call Belize water. We went to Belize years ago and it's that perfect blue, bright blue color. All right, if you're coming to Valentin specifically, my personal tips and tricks would be get the French onion soup, obviously. Yes. yes. Uh, treat sushi as an appetizer. Uh, you don't have to just go to one restaurant a night. Uh, we learned this trick from a couple years ago. Go to the sushi bar, get a few rolls, and then go to your next dinner. Make friends. Don't stay just by yourself if you come. There are tons of amazing people on this trip at the same time you are. That's how we met the friends that we travel with almost every year. Have fun, make it the trip that you want it to be. We've had some really chill nights where we're in bed by eight o'clock, and then we've had some goofy nights where we're out until 2 a.m. dancing. Uh, this is a great resort for that because like we said, there's stuff going on all the time, and there's also quiet areas in the resort all the time. I think that's gonna kind of wrap it up. We will be back in the camper. We have tons of camper projects coming up. So if you guys are here for RV content, make sure that you are checking us out. We got tons of stuff going on. If this is your first time coming across our channel, welcome. If this video helps you out, give it a thumbs up and follow along with our adventure because we do travel full time for a living. Uh, Mike said we are in a camper normally and we've got some adventures coming up that we're gonna be sharing with y'all. We love you guys. We'll see you next time.